What's up, everybody? I'm going to make uh, just a really quick statement. I'm not trying to spoil anything. I don't know anything about this game, you know, beyond what uh, is in the, the marketing. And even then, I, I paid as little attention as possible. Because you know how the game media is. They, they fucking, really, you know, they reveal the entire game before it comes out. And then on top of that, you have YouTubers and shit. They, they get their media promotional review copies. So there's already shit all over the internet. And I'm, I'm sure people have beaten the game already because it's been out for like 24 hours at this point, uh, almost. And like like 18 hours. It's already been out for 18 hours. So I'm sure you know people have played the whole fucking game already. That's not the point of this video. Oh, and, and also, literally, uh, last night... I literally, I'm, I'm, I'm using that word appropriately here. I turned on my TV. Uh, my bedroom TV isn't connected to anything except the internet. So it, it gets like smart TV. And uh, there's a channel called Newsy. And then uh, one of the segments on Newsy is, is like a tech TV segment. And they're always talking about video games. I fucking shit you not. I turn my TV on for literally one second the one second it took for me to get my remote, to get my TV to recognize that I was pressing the home button so I could switch to the Plex app. So in the one fucking second that it was actually on TV, I already heard enough of a sentence from the tech TV channel where they were talking about Resident Evil 8 to get some level of spoilers. N nothing plot specific. You know, nothing explicit, but I heard enough of a sentence to fill in the gaps and, and understand what the guy was saying. And that already pissed me off. Like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, you can't play games. You can't watch shit anymore without being spoiled. So, anyway, to the point. Capcom uh, saw fit to add, a cap, uh, to add a photo mode to Resident Evil 8, which isn't brand new for them. They did it in uh, Devil May Cry 5 which was cool. That's that's great. I was super excited for about literally two and a half seconds. And here's why. So if you go into photo mode, and you can already see it at the bottom of the screen, there's a fucking Capcom logo slapped across the bottom of the screenshot. And it, you have like plenty of, of expected options in the photo mode that you would see in every other game that has a photo mode including you know they have built in logos and shit that you can in frames that you can put on the screenshot so you can you can choose to have no logo or you can move it around the screen but you can't get rid of the fucking capcom uh copyright it's just plastered on the bottom of the screenshot no matter what you do, if you're in photo mode. Uh, and again, I've, I've played literally 12 seconds of the game, so I don't know if this is because this is the intro and it's like a pre-rendered movie at this point. But fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck the person at Capcom that thought of it. Fuck the QA people who, who tested it and decided like, oh yeah, that's fine, yeah, ship it. No one will, no one will mind. We, we know who made the game, okay? We know where screenshots from Resident Evil 8 came from. The person taking the screenshot obviously did not make the material in the screenshot. Unless, you know, you put it in Photoshop and you fucked with it. And then, yeah, then you did something to it. And Capcom just kind of like, you know, they provided the base... But this is just, it's gratuitous fucking nonsense. Like, you don't need to slap your fucking copyright across the bottom of every screenshot. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit in the Japanese gaming industry? Anyway, bye.